Hi friend, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show a program. Click prime number from a list using the Java to stream API. So basically, prime number a prime number is a natural number which is a greater than one that has no positive divisors other than one and itself. In other word, a prime number is only divisible by one and the number itself. For example, we have uh, taken that 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We know that uh, smallest is uh, the prime number is 2. And uh, so we can uh, make the program and we can check that all that uh, prime number which is, belongs to our input. And after that processing, after that uh, uh, running the program, so we will get that some input like uh, 2, 3, 5, 7 is prime number. I open the IntelliJ and uh, created a class and uh, class name I just took prime numbers and giving the program number. So right now I am just doing that program number 27. In this program firstly we need to uh, we need to check that one uh, num uh, each prime number so i will create that one method and uh, then we will uh, then we will create that one more method to run the program so which is a special uh, method main so firstly i create that uh, number each prime number to check that uh, so i am just going to write here uh, public so public is that uh, access a specifier jo, uh, which is a specified uh, publicly and uh, a static is the modifier which is uh, providing that uh, extra accessibility extra accessibility of that uh, or extra uh, features of this method to get the access from that uh, uh, by directly uh, uh, any aesthetic uh, methods or uh, accessing by that uh, uh, any class name and uh, then we need to write here that uh, return type of the method so i am just going to write here boolean so uh, we will get that either true or false and now i am going to write that uh, method name method name is the identifier so i will take as a method name uh, each prime number and in this method uh, so so you can see here uh, this the each prime number and uh, and uh, in this formal parameter i am going to take that one input like uh, integer and i will take as a uh, formal uh, parameter variable name is num num for the integer and uh, now so now firstly we will return here return and i will uh, return as a true so we are supposed to I am going to return as a uh, each prime number true and now firstly we need to check here that uh, number is valid or not so I am going to use here if a statement so in this statement we we will check here that number is that valid or not so I will use here so number and uh, less than uh, equal to one and uh, if one less than one so that time i will return here uh, return as a false and now i'm going to check uh, further so i will use here one more loop here uh, so i will use here four and uh, i give that uh, say uh, method body and uh, in this for a statement we need to pass three parameter first one is that uh, uh, initialize, initialize that uh, variable and uh, and second one is the parameter is that condition so we will give the condition and third parameter is the step so in the step we are writing in that increment or decrement so here i will use here int i equal to 2 and uh, and if i will check here if i
less than math dot sqrt that means square a square root and uh, in this square root we need to pass here uh, like uh, whatever it is one to number so i will pass here the number and uh, after that we will add plus one and now i am going to just write that increment and now i am going to just return this so so before the returning we need to check that its number is uh, uh, number is modulus of that uh, uh, like two three four so i just use here so i will use here if if number modulus i because it will generate that uh, number two firstly uh, i inslide the value two then it will return uh, it will increase the value three four five and uh, after that i will check that number is divisible by uh, zero so that i'm zero and after that we i will return here return h false so basically you can see here each prime number is the method where we are uh, check the number is prime number or not and in this method return here either true or false so whenever return is the false that means prime uh, number uh, is not prime number and here i just uh, checking with that number is less than one so if number is less than one that time it will return is a false and other than I just use here condition. Uh, here I just use here int i equal to two. So firstly I just ignore that value one. And if having the number input number as an input number two, and so that's why I started here number two. So I will check here if it is divisible by any number of two to the square root of the number otherwise you return true so i just return here true so we know that if returning uh, if return here so in this method only uh, return one at a time so if condition true that time it will return false if condition uh, uh, true so that time it will return false so uh, if both condition are not true that time we will uh, get that this return true and it means number is prime number now i am going to call and run this class so i am going to write here main method so in this main method we need to firstly we need to create that uh, integer of list where we are uh, where we are in, uh, going to in slice that value so now i am going to create here uh, integer of list so i will keep here a integer and in this integer i will use here numbers equals to arrays array is dot as a list and uh, i created a list now i am going to initialize this value so i will uh, copy this input value and just paste the here as a list and now i am going to import this class and uh, so you can see here uh, i just imported a list interface and rh class uh, both are belongings to util package and uh, now i am going to do the further process so i will use here like uh, so i will uh, after the after executing the process so we will get the result uh, into list so i am going to create one more list here so i will use your list and uh, in this list we need to pass here that uh, type of the list so i will pass here in teacher and i will use here like uh, so i will uh, uh, take the reference name like prime 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 number list and now i'm going to do the further process so so you can see uh, i have that uh, integer of list 
so uh, so integer of list i have stored in that number so i will uh, need to convert like a number integer of list to a stream so i will use here a stream method and in this a stream api method having that filter so i will use here filter so in this filter we need to call that each each prime number so i will use here like uh, so we are going to call this method each prime number and each prime number is the static method so i will use here class name so i will use here prime number 27 this is the class and here i just using that uh, clone uh, double clone operator or we are also known uh, known knowing as a uh, reference operator and i will use here each prime number and then i will click the result here so we are going to collect in that list so i will use here collect and inside collect we are going to use here collectors dot to list so it will return here inside a list and now i am going to print this result so i will use here system dot out dot println and i will print here prime number list and uh, friend my program is completed now i am going to run this class so i'm just right click on and uh, my program is starting to build and uh, see the output so having that three five seven as you can see that i got the result three five seven but not uh, but didn't get like uh, two so because two is the special case so now i'm going to uh, add one more condition so at the first bin when we are having the two so that time we can check here if uh, if number equals to two that time it will return true and uh, just added one more condition here uh, so now i'm going to rerun, uh, run again uh, rerun this class i got the result you can see here 2357 and uh, i will post the code in the git repository and uh, i will mention the link in the description uh, description of this video and uh, thank you friend thank you for your time